What's going on YouTube? Today I have a review of an item I bought off Amazon. It is a two bike vertical storage rack. I think this definitely may come in handy for a lot of people who may be tight for space. Um, I keep it here in my garage, but uh, there are times when, you know, I wish I would have had it when I had my last apartment, which was very small because I had to have my bike in the living room, unfortunately. Um, this would have came in handy then. But I think if anyone is, um, is tight for space I think this is actually going to come in handy for a lot of people so just want to do a quick video review of the item show you how it works right now I think this price is going I mean this particular rack is going for $70 on Amazon but if I'm not mistaken when I bought it on Amazon I think it was like 55 so it, it probably will drop in price um, but uh, but just keep an eye out on it I think it's definitely worth 50 or 60 bucks so um, yeah, I just want to kind of do a quick review on, on how it works and um, how the actual bikes fit on the stand. And so, if space is an issue for you, um, I definitely recommend it. Uh, right now, I think it has over 100, maybe like 105 or 104 reviews on Amazon. I think it's, uh, I think it got like 4.7 out of 5 stars. So, uh, a lot of good reviews on it. Um, very simple to install. As you see, it's really only um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe ten pieces that I had to put together, but very simple. It comes with instructions, um, so it's not very difficult at all to put together. And it can basically hold mountain bikes, it can hold my uh, 29er, it can hold um, the mountain bikes, it can hold the road bike. You know, right now I don't think size is, a, is an issue for this particular stand. So I'm just going to go ahead and start off to show you. These are movable, and so it can go left to right. And these are also movable. They can also go left to right. So depending on um, the frame of the bike and the size of the bike, you know, you can adjust it to fit accordingly. So I'm going to put, uh, let's see. I'm gonna put the avalanche on top first. And so, <clears throat> basically, just lift it up. Put it on the stand as such. And again, you can maneuver these so if I want it to go more so this way, you just slide that down and I can have it, um, you know, facing more this way, more forward uh, to balance it, to make it even. Or if I wanted to go back, I can push those sliders back and it'll actually um, push the bike back a little bit as well. So it depends on the size of the bikes that you're putting on top and at the bottom. Um, so on the bottom, I'm going to put the GT Avalanche, I'm sorry, the GT Aggressive Pro. And this frame is smaller than the Avalanche. And so there you go. So that's pretty much uh, both bikes. Uh, actually on the rack at the same time and so yeah it just helps with space um, nothing fancy nothing special about it as far as assembly or you know what it can or can't do um, if you just need to storage I mean store your bikes top to bottom instead of left to right it's definitely something that comes in handy and so yeah right now I would check this out on Amazon again I'll put all of the information in the description um, I'm gonna look up the exact title right quick it is uh, made by Cycling Deal. So the title goes Cycling Deal, Two Bike, Bicycle, Vertical Hanger, Parking Rack, Storage, Stand for Garage or Apartments. And yeah, I was correct. It's 102 reviews. And out of those 102 reviews, it has gotten 4.5 out of 5 stars. Um, trying to get the breakdown of the actual... Uh, percentages. Let's see if it'll give me that information. Yeah. 
So it got 78% five stars, 13% four. And that's what I usually do. When I go on Amazon, I add the five plus the four star reviews. So you got what, 17 plus 13, that's uh, 88, 89, and 91. So uh, basically 91% gave it five and four stars. And there's other pictures on here that show how it looks in, in apartments um, and things of that nature as well. So yeah, I think it's a very great um, rack. It's given me no problems at all. Um, it's something that I think is definitely worth uh, the investment because of the fact that you're going to end up buying more bikes than you need. <laughs> Um, if you're really into cycling or mountain biking or road racing or whatever the case may be. And so, yeah, it definitely comes in handy. Um, I do not recommend these uh, to work on your bikes, you know, for an actual um, uh, workstation. I mean, you can, but at the same time, I'm kind of like, you can see me kind of rocking it. And so, yeah, but it's stable as can be. You don't have to put this against the wall in order for it to to stay stable. You can see it's not against the wall, it's staying stable now. But yeah, if you rock it, it will sway a little bit, but for the most part, it's not gonna, it's not gonna fall over or anything like that. I think even as far as the weight of the bikes, it can hold um, you know, pretty good weight. So I, I really wouldn't worry about that either. But um, if you wanna put it against the wall, that's fine, but you don't have to. I just don't recommend it as a workstation. Just because once you start moving the bike around, as you can see, as I'm just, um, rotating the pedals you can already see that it's kind of rocking back and forth so I have another item that I'll kind of review uh, about that I use for the workstation to work on the bikes and I'll talk about that a little bit later on so other than that guys just a quick video to show you this item and again thank you for watching my videos like subscribe comment if you have any questions <clears throat> about the item definitely let me know I'll help out as much as possible and the link will be in the description Again, I would check this item from day to day to see if it goes down in price. It's $70 right now. Um, as a matter of fact, let me see exactly how much I did pay for it because I could be wrong. I might have paid uh, I might have paid $70 for this and just forgot that I paid that much for it. I thought I got it around $50, but I could be mistaken and I paid yeah, I did pay $70 for it. So yeah, I take that back. So I know I paid 70 bucks for this item on there. Um, do I think it's worth 70? Yeah, I mean, if you need the space, I definitely think it's worth it on there. They have other ones that are similar, but this one got better reviews than some of the other ones out there. So, you know, that's what I usually go by. If it's an item that I haven't seen in person on Amazon, I go by the reviews. And so anyway, I'm gonna make this video short. Appreciate all the support, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.